Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the new Briar's Delights ice cream. What these are are low calorie ice creams to compete with uh, the Halo Top and Enlightened, which we don't get Enlightened in our area. Every no time way. we do one of these <laughs> videos, somebody says, have you tried Enlightened? Because Enlightened is supposed to be the very, very best above all others, but I've never gotten to try it. Uh, is one it of the these very, does, very best, most expensive? I don't know. I don't know how much it costs, but uh, hopefully one of these days we'll get it in our area. Uh, but this is the Briar's Delights, and they've come out to compete with with the others. Halo um, Top, and yeah. Halo Top, and uh, Enlightened, and the right. Simple gotcha. Simple Truth from Kroger. Um, I also saw where Skinny Cow has come out with their own. I have not seen those yet, or or they'll be out soon. Uh, this is the uh, Vanilla Bean, and I have chocolate. These were at Rite Aid, and I want to thank Jessica, I won't say Jessica's last name, Jessica T on Facebook told me, she said, have you seen the Rite Aid ad? She said, because this is on the front, on the cover of their ad. So we went in there the day that they were supposed to be on sale in Rite Aid, and they did not have them. So she told us that the truck would be coming back, and so they were there today. But I want to thank Jessica T, because I would not have... I would have never looked at Rite Aid in a for million years for ice cream <laughs> because it's expensive. Yeah. It, it was six twenty nine, but it was buy one get one. But six so twenty nine is how much the, the normal cost. Six twenty nine, unless these are on sale, that's how much you're normally gonna pay. I was able to get buy one get one, so that's a really good price yeah, three, actually. Three, that's three. competitive with the Kroger, right. simple truth. Yeah. So of course you know they're not gonna say that way. Right? So and they you, did have a plastic seal. Yeah, they have a plastic seal on them. Which is good. Uh, the vanilla bean is only 260 calories. It is low fat ice cream made with fresh cream, 20 grams of protein per pint. Uh, if you have just one serving, which is two thirds cup, it's only 90 calories. And these are made by uh, Unilever. That's who makes these. So. And these have been sitting out about 20 minutes, probably? Probably. Could you say, safe to say 20 probably minutes? Probably 20 minutes. And this is vanilla bean. I'm curious we the texture. We are the only ones that are going to be uh, eating out of, do you want it's to hold probably, this up? It's probably going to be me. We're the only ones that's going to be eating out of these containers. So, we are going to just uh, both try it, because we don't mind eating after each other. It'll probably just be me, honestly. <laughs> I can tell you right now, it looks more appetizing than the um, Simple Truth ones. The Kroger brand. Not bad. It's vanilla bean. You don't like it? I don't care for it. It's very, it's very strong vanilla bean. I love vanilla bean. Love vanilla bean. And the Halo Top puts that to shame. Yeah, I think the Simple Truth is better too. The Simple Truth puts that to shame. That hardly has any flavor. I mean, it does have vanilla bean flavor, but okay, you have Halo Top and Simple Truth are up here. As far as flavor goes, this would be way down here. It's not even mediocre. It's not even at a five mark. It's uh, well below I, it. It's, it's edible. It's, it's, it's not, edible, but It's not that bad, but why? Why? When I first took a bite, I didn't think it was that bad, but now that I'm, it's on my tongue and like setting, it has an aftertaste. I don't care for it. I just don't. I don't. It's nothing. On the positive side, the texture's really good. It's very creamy. The texture's fine. It's, it's the, yeah. It's, it looks better, like I said, than the Simple Truth, because Simple Truth looks like a hot mess. Right. Open them. It does, but you know what? You know it's ice cream, and so you eat the, it, the even flavor, if it's ugly, you eat it. The flavor's kind of, has a chemical kind of flavor. I would pass on the vanilla bean. Definitely. How many grams of protein do they have? 20, 20 grams of protein is what yeah. both these have. All right, this one is the chocolate. It's 270 calories for the pint. So just 10 more. And it's dark. <laughs> it does look a little dark. Go ahead. Dig in. And this one's also been out about 20 minutes. Yeah, at the same time. I'll just try to get some off the edges. Edges, yeah. This one looks like it's cocoa powder color, color, doesn't it? That one has a lot more flavor. It is. It reminds me of those 
I can tell you exactly what that flavor is. Tell me. Mm. You know the little plastic cups you get for birthday parties? Yeah. The little paper cups, the little plastic cups? Yeah. Did you buy a whole stack of them? Yeah. That's that chocolate. Oh, okay. I haven't, I haven't like. had one of those in so long. Um, it also reminds me of the chocolate in the big tubs. The big, you know, you get a tub this big for a dollar. No, is it that not dark? Literally, is it that dark? I was thinking it was. It's uh, not that strong, but it reminds me of that. Yeah, because this is pretty strong, I think. It's okay. It's, it's got a cocoa flavor. Yeah, it, it's, yeah. It, it definitely a cocoa flavor. Uh, if you're it, a chocolate lover, you probably love this. I like chocolate, but that's darker. That's not normal chocolate. That's much darker than normal chocolate. How about that? Yeah, if you just get, I mean, does it say it's chocolate? No, it's it says chocolate. creamy chocolate. Um, because if you get just regular chocolate ice cream, it, it, it there's a midpoint there to where, I mean, it's very sweet, it's very creamy. That, I think, is, is on the darker side. It's not bitter, but it's headed that way. Yeah, it's I could, I agree. leaning, you know? It's, I don't mind this one, though. I don't mind that one. I could actually eat that one if that was the only thing there were in the refrigerator, if in the freezer. If that was the only kind and I wanted ice cream, I would get that. But I would never eat that vanilla bean again. I, I, mm -mm. I could eat the vanilla bean. The chocolate I would I would eat. I would not buy that again. I wouldn't buy it again because I like the uh, the, the simple, simple truth, truth and the hell got better truth. and I don't like chocolate. Yeah. So I wouldn't buy any of them actually. But. No, we uh, no. <laughs> I'm not chocolate but, but we're not chocolate as far as ice cream. Just we would rather have other flavors of ice cream. But we do know good chocolate yeah, ice cream. Yeah, this one's not. This is and not as good. It's not as good. This would fall short. It still isn't bad. It's still edible, but it would fall short of the the other one. Which is a shame. It's expensive as it is. Yeah. It's, and Briar name is on there. You would think it'd be really good. But. Right. Not bad, but because somebody will say, oh, I tried it and I really liked it, thought it was good. Yes, that's true. But when you put it up against Halo Top or Simple Truth, yeah, it, those are better than this one. That's I still all think it reminds, I am. It still reminds me of the cups that you get, the little cheap chocolate yeah. cups is what they taste like. But. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. We will have another one. Uh, we plan on trying the other two tomorrow. We bought the Mint Chef and the Cookies and Cream. Mm -hmm. So hopefully keep your fingers crossed that we'll like those better. better. I wanted to try the plain ones first. And uh, that way, because I'm, I'm hoping, I have high hopes for that cookies and cream. So um, I will take a picture of these, even though we have had our spoons in them, it's okay. I'll take a picture of them anyway for you. And thanks for watching.